Hey guys, how are things? I got a response here today on my YouTube channel uh, from Neil Russell. Hey James, just wondering, how do I do a split test with Google Web Optimizer? Any help being much appreciated. So uh, I was on to Neil and he sent me uh, some details of his hosting so I could put up a video to show you all how to do um, a split test. So basically what a split test is, firstly, is you have a website, a dot com, and you send traffic to your website. They land on the home page of the website, usually known as index.html. Now, the home page has certain information, certain copy, few images, and it's laid out in a certain way. Now, if you'd like to improve the conversion of that page, whether it's uh, to a sale or to um, click onto another page or to sign in, the best thing to do is to split test it, which is basically try out a second version of that page. So this is what Neil is looking to do and he's using Google Website Optimizer which is a free tool by Google. If you are thinking of getting hosting for a website I would recommend uh, my own company naturally, smartgeek.net and you can get um, a website up for $4.95 per month based on um, cPanels and this is what a cPanel looks like and what you're looking for. So in the case of this it's quite easy to find um, to create an FTP FTP manager. So we know straight away there's an FTP add an FTP account you know and it's it's really simple. So um, don't use Google Website Optimizer in order to um, split test the two pages. What type of experiment you like to an A-B experiment is a simpler way to start because we can make dramatic differences between the two. So one's called index.html and the second one's called index1.html. Okay, great. So back to Website Optimizer now and let's go into the A and B experiment. Identify your conversion page. Okay, this is important. Um, at the moment, Neil has index.html and index1.html. I'm just going to upload the two of these we have two pages. For Google Web Ops Website Optimizer we need three pages. The whole idea of, of split testing the page is to get the, the visitors to take some action. And whichever page gets the visitors to take, uh, whichever page gets more visitors to take action is obviously going to be the winning page. How do we know if a visitor has taken action? Okay, let's look at his page. Um, visitor will come, uh, read the content and the action they're going to take here is click here for free sign up. They're going to put their name and email address in and click here for free sign up. And their name and email address is most likely going to go to Neil's autoresponder so we can communicate with them. So he's going to have to set up an intermediary page. And basically what will happen is the visitor will put their name and email address in, they'll sign up. That information will go to their um, Neil's autoresponder. And the autoresponder will send the visitor back to an intermediary page which we're going to insert. The intermediate page is very, very simple. It's going to run the Google um, Website Optimizer code so we can track that they've converted. And the second thing it's going to do is it's going to send them on to the affiliate page that Neil wants to send them on to. And this will happen in a split second and the user won't even know what's happening. So let's, let's just step through the process Website Optimizer and uh, we'll create the intermediary page now in a second. Okay, experiment name Home in generator. That's the name of the experiment. The original page is http forward slash forward slash index.html and you can see now it's checking to see if that's there. It is there. And the second one is index1.html so it's going to check if that's up there. Found it. Great. Now, our conversion page. So let's go in and create our conversion page. The first thing we need to do is we need to create a HTML page. So HTML. First thing we need to do is we name this page. So let's save this page as forward.html. So save. So here we have forward.html. So we're going to upload this. Website Optimizer is going to ask for the conversion, so we're going to call it forward.html. Let's see if it's there. 
it's up. Great. Okay. Next. I'm going to do it manually. Showing the code. Okay. Now before we go into the code, let's get this forward page doing what we want it to do. So I went onto Google and I typed in HTML redirect and it came up with this website. So here it is. Here's the piece of code. So let's copy it and paste it in here. And it's going to bring us to this page here. Refreshes content. Oh, we forgot to close our brackets, so my mistake. So let's close the brackets. Save. Upload our forward.html with uh, <laughs> the code fixed. And we don't need this in here because obviously we don't want the user to be reading something in the meantime. Okay, so let's go to our code. We've got several snippets of code that needs to be put in on each of the pages. So we we'll start at the first page. This is the home page, the page that the website takes the user to when they click homeincomegenerator.com. So that is index.html. So let's open index.html. Okay. Now a lot of code here looks daunting, but you don't need to worry about this. All you need to do is worry about exactly where to put the code that we need to put in. So there's two pieces of code here for this this page, and we're going to paste this code at the beginning of the page source code. So we can copy this, Control C, and the beginning is at the head here, up here. That's the very beginning. User one uh, or user one will come in and view um, the home page index.html. This code will run and check has the previous user view this page. And if the answer is no, it's going to show the rest of this page. If the answer is yes, it's going to show them the next page, which is index one. Okay, so that's just, that's all that code does. The tracking script. This is the script that's put at the end of the page. So let's copy this pa code in and paste it down at the very bottom. Done. Okay, so this is our website optimizer track. Next one, variation pages. Add a tracking script to each page. So we only have one variation page at the moment, so we're going to put a tracking script at the end of this one. So let's close this down, save it. And this is our variation page, our second page that we're going to be showing. Um, with the garland, yeah, that's it. So look at the code. We don't need to do anything at the top here. All we need to do is put the script in at the bottom. So save that. Grant. And now the third piece, the conversion page tracking. This is what... Uh, our intermediary page we we're discussing. So we have it here for that HTML. So if we can just put this piece of code possibly here maybe at the very start. And what'll happen is it'll load this piece of code will run, which will say yes they've reached the page. It'll track it on Google Website Optimizer for us to say that the visitor has reached this page and then it'll send the visitor on to the next page. So we save that as well and close that. So let's upload all three fingers crossed now we get a good connection and it uploads to GoDaddy. Great, looks like she's working away. Brilliant. Okay, so back to here. Now we have a button down at the bottom here which we need to do which is validate pages. So it's going to go and check these three pages. One, two, and three. And check if the code has been put in the right places. So, let's go to the next page. Okay, we're ready to start our experiment. So, click start. And it's going to send 50% to each page. So, this is running now. A few notes on it is um, index simple versus index image and headline. That's all we need just so we know what the, what the test is about. Brilliant. So that's it. Um, that's uh, a quick introduction on how to do Website Optimizer. If you have any more questions ask me uh, on the YouTube channel here or if you'd like to learn more about making money online, go to www.jamesesgo.com. Talk to you soon.